What's up everybody? Resale Rabbit here for part two of the Goodwill Outlet video. I've got my cart here and we are gonna go take a look at what I got. I know that title is very clickbaity, but you'll see it. I got it. You'll see that at the end. We're gonna get up to the car here. Let's sort out this stuff in here first. You just saw this earlier. If you haven't seen this one, go check it out. That was the first haul. Now this one, a little bit smaller, but still quality. If I can grab this stuff. First find here, a Wilton holiday cake pan set. It's new, box is a little messed up. Uh, this will go with the other business. Probably get about five bucks for it. Now this is because I am a child and I need this in my office. Hangs right on the door. And this is my new procrastination machine. Now this one I need to look into just to make sure it is real. But this is a Lacoste bag, a duffel bag. I feel like it's not a fake. Again, I would have to look into it. You can see here it says not for resale. I highly doubt they would put that on the tag if it was a fake but once again I'm gonna have to look more closely at it uh, I looked on eBay this exact bag is selling for about 25 bucks it's light enough it should be able to go first class I'm not hundred percent on that but it should next I've got a Garfield phone you pick up the handset and his eyes open it's even got the original orange phone cord this thing is too cool i don't know if i'm gonna sell it i'm kind of turning into a hoarder i just think this thing is awesome i should get about 25 bucks after shipping on ebay they're kind of all over the place some of them are really low some of them are higher so i'm gonna price it clean it up nice price it a little bit higher and see what i can get for it that is assuming i don't keep it next i got myself a tool belt because i've got a bunch of tools but not a belt so why not this was interesting. I think this is for in the dishwasher for putting, you know, small stuff in your dishwasher. And that's exactly what I'm going to use it for. So I got that for myself. This, a Mickey Mouse purse. Kind of a unique little thing. I'm not sure this is worth much on eBay. I'll have to look it up. But I will at the very least sell it in my other business. Probably get about three bucks for it. Oh, I forgot to look this up. This is Genuine Apple. Uh, plugs into an old iPod and has these. I actually put this in my cart meaning to look this up and I didn't. Do you guys ever have that problem where you grab something in the bin, you quick throw it in your cart and then realize after you, you've left, I should have looked that up. Well, that happens to me quite often. So anyways, this might be worthless. It might go in the garbage. It might be worth something. I have no idea. I got this. I opened it up to look at it because it looked kind of faded, but it was just a plastic and Orlando Magic metal Hallmark keepsake ornament. I'm thinking I should be able to get about 10 or 15 bucks on eBay around the holidays. So I will list that now and see what it does. Here's another thing I got because I'm a child, a Monopoly checkbook. So that's what my checks are gonna go in. And I also found a dime. It wasn't in it, it was just in the bin. I tossed it in there so I wouldn't lose it because I do believe in paying for things even if it's money. I got a Sony Walkman. I should get about 10 bucks on eBay for that, 10 to $20. I got Office 2011 for the Mac. It's got the disc, it's got the product key on top. I need to call Microsoft to make sure it is valid. Um, I believe this is for three computers. I'm not 100%, uh, I don't know, it doesn't say. The ones with the similar packaging were for three computers. I have to look up the product key to see if it's valid, but if it is, that's about 75 to $100. I got an iHome. I actually didn't look this up, but I can be almost certain this is gonna be worth selling. It's for the newer iPods and iPhones. It doesn't have the old 30 pin one. So I figure I could probably get 30 bucks after fees minimum for it. I got this Creative Zen. Believe it or not, this little thing, I've never sold the pink one, but I've sold the white one for $50. So now that was a little while ago. I don't know if it's still worth it, but um, I'm sure it's at least worth 20 bucks. 
We've got a Garmin complete with the cord. Um, if it works, probably about 25, 30 bucks. Also, I spent 22 or $23 on all this stuff on this second run here. I got these for my house. I wish they were more. Uh, here's one to look for, the Magic Jack. These actually sell pretty well, new and used. So, I got that. It probably cost me a nickel. What else do we have here? A few more laptop cores. We got some HP. I think there's a gateway in here. Uh, again, didn't look them up. I'll look them up when I get to listing them. I got a Netgear cord. Uh, just like last time at the outlet, I always grab these because it's. I often find routers and modems that don't have cords, so it's nice to have them around. Uh, here is the cord for the iHome. I got a mini scooter. Probably not worth anything, but I thought it was cool. I got, let's see, this is the book, just so I know what this stuff is. A bunch of Game Boy Advance SP things. Let's see if I can find the rest of them. This, I, again, I didn't look it up, but a wireless adapter, this has to be worth a couple of bucks. See, when I'm getting, when I'm going to the outlet, these things cost me like a penny or two each, so I don't even bother taking the time to look them up. I'll look them up when I go to listing them. Uh, just a little thing for the Game Boy Advance. Just about a whole bunch of little accessories for the Game Boy Advance. I'll probably bundle them all together. Here's another thing I forgot to look up, a seal for something. So this could also be worthless, but I mean, I probably paid a nickel for it. I found a cable for a PS2 or PS1. I found the power adapter for the PS2 at the last run in there, and this time I found the AV cable. This must have been stuck to something. I have no idea what that is. And I found some headphones. I always grab headphones if they're clean and look good to pair them with the Walkmans that I sell. So that is what I found at the Goodwill outlet on my second run in there. I have a feeling you guys are waiting for something. You're gonna be very disappointed, but I was very excited. I found a PS4 in the outlet. The only problem is I only found half of it. But this half does have the disk drive. It's got some parts and some stuff. I have no idea, but this has to be worth something on eBay. I probably paid about two bucks for it. I'm just gonna throw this on eBay and uh, maybe let people bid. I have no idea. This has to be, I couldn't believe it. A PS4, well, a half. Is half a PS4 considered a PS2? That's a good question. I don't know. But I found half. You can see it is a PS4. I couldn't believe it. I dug for the other half trying to find it. It looks like someone was trying to pry it apart. I have no idea. But I would assume there's usable parts in here. I mean, you can see the disc tray is right in the middle there. That's in this. So if someone needs to replace the disc tray, they've got the parts. So I'm going to throw this on eBay and I will update another video what I got for it. I see buttons. You know, sometimes maybe they need to replace buttons on them. I don't know. I'll update in another video what I got for it. But that is my haul. I am going to go back to the warehouse and get this stuff listed. Uh, so if you enjoy this video and didn't see the first part, go back and find the first part I filmed earlier for my first run in there. This was two runs in the Goodwill outlet. I'm gonna get home and get this listed. Overall today, I don't know, I probably made about 400 bucks. Everybody says this comment on my videos. Let, let me sit here and clarify everybody says no you didn't make that money you spent money you don't make it until it sells and although i do agree with you i've been saying for years in this business you make your money when you buy stuff you can sell something for five thousand dollars but if you spent 4900 for it you didn't make any money you make your money buying so that's my little thing that I always say. So I have an anticipated $400 I will make. I hope that sounds a little bit better. But that's all I've got for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I might do more of these. I will see you guys later.